Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com, and this is another rapid fire Squarespace critique. That's right, it's brought to you by Squarespace. We'll talk more about that later, but in the meantime, check out squarespace.com slash fro to get a 14-day free trial. But this is a Squarespace critique. We've got Julian Fernandez Photography has sent in his website for me to critique. I don't know what it's built on, but it's it's fine. So let's take a look. This is where you go when you hit enter. When we type in Julian Fernandez and you get to a page, this is the first page. It starts right here on sand and sea. So you can see that you can scroll down and see all the different images, or you could click on one of them and make it larger, and then you hit next. I mean, it, it works. It's plain, it's simple, it's clean. To go back, let me see, I can hit escape. Um, but I also noticed something when I scroll down here. I don't mind this down here, I like that. But his Instagram button is all the way down at the bottom. It kind of gets lost. So the social button aspect of it isn't there. I'd like to see the social buttons up here. Uh, you know, I don't know what it's built on, so I don't know if it's Squarespace, I don't know if it's something else, but it's simple, it's clean, and it's fine. But also what you'll notice is that if I change the website here, it is a responsive site, which means it's going to change the size of the images based off of the size or based on the size of the window that I have open. So I'm on a 27-inch iMac. That's why it's showing all of these different images. So some of these images are very nice. I would probably consider cutting down on a couple of them to make it a little easier for the people to come through. But actually, what I would like to see is when you land on Julian Fernandez, maybe there's a welcome screen, a welcome page, something that's like, hey, here's what I, I like to do. Bing, bang, bomb, boom, blam, pal, a chow or whatever that's what i would like to see because right here we first land on sand and sea then we go on people so we've got the people images here we got a girl in a bikini all right i like the colors i like the way that everything is looking so it looks good i just would like to segment it down a little bit i i, I love when i get to see a checkerboard of images i like to do that and i like the fact that i can click on it and then see the next these are nice so this works out very well it actually goes a little slow i'm trying to click a little quicker but it works out. So this is fine. Serves the purpose. Prom. Okay, we've got some prom pictures. We've got fine art. The problem here is we only have two fine art images. You got macro. All right, you've got one set of macro. About me, contact me. We'll skip about me for a second. We got the contact. That's fine. He's got his phone number listed here, his email here, as well as a form that you can sign out. So the, Im so the emails will go right to him. And then you've got the about me. But before I do that, let's just talk about the page in general. Layout wise, it's fine, but I would like to see, you know, less sections. So maybe macro and fine art, you could combine them because they seem to be just one type of image. Maybe it's just the mishmash pile that you put it in there. So you have a few more in there, uh, not just Mac, you know, unless you have multiple sets, I would like to see drop down menus with sets and then have, you know, four or five images in each set instead of it just coming out blow into one big screen like this. That's what I'm feeling. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that this is bad in any by any stretch. It's simple. It's clean. I get to see the images. That works. I would like to see the social aspect of it on the screen. I would like to click here and then be able to see that, oh, I want to share this on Instagram or I want to share this on, not Instagram, but Twitter and Facebook, you know, to get the social buttons there. So let's get to the About Me page. So here is Julian Fernandez. Julian Fernandez, born in... Something Argentina, Intina, oh, geez, Argentina. I need to learn how to read. Argentina, Julian Fernandez has traveled. See, my thing with somebody writing a bio is it's your page. Write your own freaking bio. Don't do it. In, I mean, I'm sure you wrote it. Don't do it in the third person. Just say I, me, own it. It's your page. I love shooting this. I love doing that. And to have it written in the third person, it's just like, ah, uh, so what? You know what I mean? And that, that's my feeling. I don't know if you agree. I don't know if you disagree. But I just feel it's your page. It's like, hey, my name's Julian Fernandez. I picked up photography sometime in junior high school, found a love for it, uh, photography. And since then, uh, I've taken an interest in everything from landscapes to lifestyle to surf photography. I have hopes since and, and I inspire to proceed, blah, 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 blah. Basically, write it as I'm Julian Fernandez. This is what I like to do. Here's how you can get in touch with me. Here's what I like and just sell it. You don't have to do it as a third person. And, and that's really how I feel about it. That, I, And I wonder how I do it on my website. Do I, even, I don't even think I have an about me page on here. I just have a contact on mine. But 
if I was to do that on an About Me page, I'm going to write it. I want it to be me talking, and I don't care if anybody thinks it's arrogant to say that you're talking about yourself or confident. You're talking about yourself. That's okay. Nobody's going to be – and this is a nice photo, by the way. I wonder who took it. But nobody's going to be able to sell yourself better than yourself. So don't be afraid of it. So, Julian, I think this is very nice. I just think it, it, it's a little cluttered with a ton of images the, the, that aren't – really organized in a way. I mean, I guess it's organized because you've got all of the, the images right here, and I don't know what you're building this, uh, what platform this is being built on, but all in all, I think it's clean. I think it works. I like that it's a responsive website, so it could probably look good on somebody's iPhone or iPad or Android device, so that's definitely cool. And, and the way that the images are segmented, that's fine as well. I would just be careful with the fine art and only having two images in there. I would try to maybe put together a fine art slash macro or something and then just have the best five to ten images in those sections uh maybe cut back a little bit on on some of the well this isn't bad um i'm not gonna critique but all right i gotta critique this you can't cut off their feet if you're gonna leave all that room you can't do it but i don't want to get too far into it so i like what you've done i think you're doing a great job i think you're on the right path just keep it up Keep adding new images, keep it fresh, keep it clean, and I think you're good to go. So that is a rapid-fire Squarespace critique. Pretty simple this time because I liked what was going on, and I hope that the feedback has helped you out there as much as it helps Julian uh, because that's what these are all about. So being, like I said, it's brought to you by Squarespace. I personally use Squarespace. It is a very easy-to-use website-building platform that not only gives you all the tools that you need, but it also hosts the stuff. There's 24 hour cust seven days a week, 24 hours customer service. So somebody is always going to be there to help you if you need help. But I don't need to tell you how good it is. Just go ahead and try the 14 day free trial. If you haven't, go to squarespace.com slash fro. Go ahead, use that 14 days. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But if you decide that you do want to sign up for it, there is a 10% off code. Just use the code FRO, and you'll get 10% off your first order. So if you sign up for a month, you're going to get 10% off. If you sign up for a year, you're going to get 10% off that entire year. And I believe it comes out to about $8 and change a month, which you can't beat that for hosting, for all the for all of the support that they give you, and for the quality and simple nature of building a site. Like I said, I don't have HTML skills, but I built what you see right here in roughly 30 minutes to an hour. It's very simple. You go through here. We've got my images. We can see this. I love the honeycombing like this. Uh, and bing, bang, boom. That's about it. So there you have it. Jared Poland, Fronos, Photo dot com. See ya. If you want to check out some more rapid fire Squarespace critique videos, go ahead, click up on the screen right somewhere where it says, click me. I want to go see more Squarespace videos. Go ahead and do that. Also hit subscribe down below if you want to be notified when new videos go live. And that is what I have. I hope you'd enjoyed it and thank you. And we'll see you next time.